Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get this perfect gradient manicure. For this tutorial I'm painting my middle finger and I'm using two polishes, Kiko's 389 and China Glaze's Sweet Hook. I'm also using a sponge for the gradient but I've already used it so I'm cutting the used part off of the sponge and then we have a new piece of sponge to work with. For the white base on my middle finger, I use Sinful Color Snow Me White, and you should always apply white polish before you're doing a gradient. After that, I'm applying Color for Nails' Nail Feel, which is a liquid latex product, and this product uh, protects your skin from nail polish, and cleanup is a lot easier because you just pull it off, and then you don't have to grab a Q-tip and just remove it all. It's super easy. And I'm applying my Kiko polish on the sponge, and on the other half of the sponge, I'm gonna apply China Glaze's Sweet Hook. And try to get the polishes to blend a bit in the middle so that the gradient is um, good to work with. So that's the gradient, and then I'm gonna sponge it onto my nail. I'm like dabbing it on and just going up and down and sideways so that every single piece of white polish is covered in color and that the colors will blend nicely. So that is my first coat. I'm gonna let that dry and after I let it dry I'm gonna apply the colors again onto the sponge and then I'm gonna reapply the colors so that they will be more bright, more vivid, and I'm gonna cover every bit of white piece of nail polish. Then I'm going to take off the nail veal, and as you can see, it's super easy to use. You don't have to clean it up again with a Q-tip. If you have a bit of nail polish on your skin left, I'm going to use some nail polish remover. This one is with acetone, putting it in the cap and taking my nail art brush. And then I'm just going to remove the polish that is left on my skin. Because the sponge left some spongy things on my nail, I had some sort of weird texture, so I'm filing that off so that I don't have a texture. And then I'm going to apply my favorite top coat because I didn't have much left. I'm holding the bottle in this weird way, and I also spilled some top coat on my bottle as well. I'm applying quite a generous coat because you want the colors to blend nicely and to make it look good and shiny and protect your manicure as long as you can. So that was my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Bye guys!